Hi everybody, it's Heather here with Diamonds and Dragonflies and welcome to my first month in review for 2024. Uh, we are going to go over what I did and what I finished and what I have left unfinished going into February of 2024. So this is my logbook. If you've watched some of my other videos, you have seen it before. Um, I've never tracked my diamond paintings before, but I am making a concerted effort to make sure that I am tracking them every single thing I do for the month of 2024. So I am a diamond painter that also enjoys doing a lot of special projects, that being things that are off canvas, that are out of the norm, that aren't doing an actual physical canvas diamond painting. Um, this logbook is one of the things that I have done. Um, this was done in December, so it doesn't count for 2024. Uh, so we're going to go through all of my special projects first, and then we're going to delve into the five canvases. Yes, you heard me correctly. The five canvases that I completed for January of 2024. I'm actually quite surprised because I had carpal tunnel surgery done on my dominant right hand on December 27th. I had to learn to diamond paint with my left hand. Uh, for the majority of the month, um, rounds was all I could do. Rounds and single placing. So I did a lot of special projects during that time frame. They were easier. I wasn't I knew I wouldn't be as upset if things weren't perfect or whatnot, as opposed to doing an actual canvas. Um, however, I got very proficient very quickly, even got to the point where I can multi-place with my left hand now. Um, squares still were eluding me for a while, but then I started having complications from my surgery. And after uh, two weekends in a row of having... 10 plus pain on the pain scale, uh, my surgeon decided that he was gonna do exploratory surgery to go back in to see what was going on, why I was having all of this pain. Well, exploratory surgery took place last Thursday, so one week from the day of the filming of this. Um, this isn't gonna go up until tomorrow, so it'll be one week ago yesterday for you guys. I had the exploratory surgery, which ended up being called revision surgery because they did go and make some revisions to the surgery they had done previously to help alleviate some pain. Knock on wood, I am pain free, but I was given a strict four weeks no diamond painting with the right hand. So I am 100% totally, totally diamond painting with my off hand, my left, and if you play D&D, &D, I feel like, you know, I need to take a penalty for, you know, attacking with my offhand. Um, so if you don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, then that just went completely over your head and I apologize. Uh, but the geek in me came out. Um, the other thing is that I have actually progressed to being able to do squares pretty good with my left hand. Not as good as rounds, but pretty good with my left. So... The month of February is opening up a little, a little more doors are being opened for me and a little more options in terms of diamond painting. So without further ado, let's get into what I got done. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is these calendar month wall hangings that I purchased. I found these on Amazon and I actually went in and I purchased one for every month of the year. So this was January's. Uh, they did not come in until the first week in January, so I did this in January. But then I also purchased, like I said, I got one for every month of the year. I got February. So I did February's as well. So these were the first two. Let me move my logbook out of the way here. These were my first two finishes for the the year. Now, I don't, I don't write these in my logbook per se. Um, I actually have a, oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I don't know where that came from. Um, I do have another 
notebook that I keep some notes in and stuff. And that's where I kind of list my special projects that I do. I don't list them. This is specifically for diamond art canvases that go into this log book. So, but these were two special projects that I did in the month of January. So then I also did these Valentine wall hangings for the month of January. So I got this cute truck one done with the teddy bear and some hearts in the back that says love. I did this adorable little gnome holding a present. And I did this envelope with a Valentine's Day card poking out from inside it. I love these kind of little projects. I love using the extra special drills. Um, they're a nice way to break up the monotony of just doing canvases. And I love decorating my house. So being able to decorate it in all things diamond painting is wonderful for me. So these were three additional special projects that I did in the month of January. So next, I purchased, I sent out um, 49, yeah, 49 Diamond Art Christmas cards this year. So it completely depleted my stash. So I did go and place an order with Home Craftology for a ton of Christmas cards. They were doing a buy one, get one 50% off. They did a buy one, get one free. And I was snagging them up every chance I got to buy, oh my gosh, excuse me yet again. Sorry about that. To purchase gift cards to, or um, Christmas cards to replenish for this year. So I have 10 packs that I bought and I've set a goal for myself of completing one pack a month. Sorry, I need a little drink there. One pack a month and that would take me to October. That way, if for some reason I can't do a month, I have a little extra, but then I'll have them all done. So these are, the, this is the pack of Christmas cards that I did. I haven't folded them over yet into a card. They're easier to store flat like this. So we have a snowman and a snow child. We have Santa holding up ornaments. We have another Santa. And then we have a Christmas tree. So these were four Christmas cards that came in one pack that I purchased and did in the month of January. So I will have another pack of Christmas cards done for the month of February. So stay tuned for that next month in my February month in review. They do come with the envelopes. Now I will tell you that I did discover this year that because of the envelope, it has nothing to do with the weight of the card, but the size did make it $1.35 in postage per card. So this upcoming year, I'm gonna be a little more selective in who actually gets these as Christmas cards. So just something to keep in the back of your mind. Now, my first big finish for January 2024 was the Diamond Art Club calendar that came out. So funny story, but back in the summer, I had actually posted in the VIP group asking whether or not anyone had ever seen a diamond painting calendar, one where you actually diamond painted the picture for each month. Everyone was like, no, but that would be awesome. That's a fantastic idea. Um, well, Diamond Art Club came out with one. Did they come up with it from my suggestion? I couldn't even begin to tell you, but I was able to snag this. I was very pleased with it. So here is my diamond painting calendar. So here's the month of January, the cute little bear and an owl and a hedgehog. Then for February, we have this cute mug of hot chocolate with the marshmallows in it. 
for March. We have two gnomes riding in a in a truck. I love it. The only thing is that this one, the bumper really bothered me. I have to say, the bumper really bothered me. For April, we have a planter full of tulips. Then for May, we have a salute to moms everywhere with our super mom heart for Mother's Day. Then for June, we have a big sunflower showing off the sun that it, we are all ready to soak in and soak up come June. Then for July, we do have a shout out to the United States for our 4th of July Independence Day. Um, I did add some enhancements to this as I had these stars. So instead of doing them with a bunch of round drills, I used the stars and filled in instead. And I really liked the look that it gave it. Then for August, we have a sun smiling with its eyes closed, soaking up all those rays for the end of summer. Then for September, we have a truck full of pumpkins and all the fall goodness. October brings our jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. November brings Mr. Turkey. I love him. I just wish they would have made it that we could have diamond painted his little legs. He is adorable. And then last but not least, my favorite month of the year, December. I did a lot of blinging up for the month of December. I added all of these crystal drills of this gold, these little snowflake drills that I added. Then I did the crystal drills again in the presents and the wrapping. So there was my first big completion of 2024, the Diamond Art Club advent calendar, or I'm sorry, not advent calendar, 12 month diamond painting calendar. So the next thing, and I finished this yesterday, was I completed a paint gem edition. Now I have set this as a personal goal to myself to complete one paint gem edition every month for 2024. So I got it started off in January with the love edition which I am being severely challenged here right now, trying to get this off, there we go. So if you are not familiar with Paint Gem, I do have a video that I posted that went live today um, where I am actually reviewing this particular kit in detail. So I go into all the things about Paint Gem there. So you should just hop over and take a look at that video. I will link to it in the description of this video. But just for, as a little show and tell, so here are the canvases that came that I completed. There were 12 in this box. The amount varies from box to box. So we have L O V E to spell love. Then we have a key to my heart, a cupcake, Lip saying, I love you. A heart-shaped hot air balloon. A heart filled with flowers. A love potion. A love bottle of perfume. And an envelope of, I miss you. So this was my completed paint gem set for the month of January. And now on to the canvases. See, it's so much easier to put it on than it was to take it off. So, here are the five canvases that I finished this month. Now, I do have them on here in size order, so that's how we're going to go through them. I will let you know what finish they were in my log book. So, Snoopy done decorating. This kit came with the uh, 2023 Advent calendar from Diamond Art Club. I did not purchase the calendar, 
But when I saw an unboxing and saw that this kit was a part and that Diamond Art Club was licensing peanuts, uh, diamond paintings, I was very sad that I didn't get it. So you can make sure that this year I will be making sure to jump on getting that Diamond Art Club advent calendar. I went in search of it because my oldest daughter, um, she will be 31 this month. She is severely autistic. She has the mind of a six-year-old and she loves all things peanuts. Peanuts, Sesame Street, Harry Potter, uh, Percy Jackson, Disney. Those are her loves. And I knew that she would want this so badly. So I did it in search of. I was willing to pay up to $25 to purchase this kit. I had people reach out that they were willing to sell it to me, but they wanted $40 or more for the kit. And I could not justify the exp that kind of expense for the size of this kit. Then someone who I will just say her first name is Laura, saw my post, messaged me, told me she had it and asked if she could send it to me for me to do for my daughter. I was so touched by her heartfelt generosity and her love um, for wanting to make my 30 year old autistic daughter happy. So Laura, if you are watching once again from the bottom of my heart and Samantha's, thank you. We greatly appreciate your generosity. So this ended up being my third kit of completion. I did complete it in one day. Uh, I started it after midnight on January 20th and I finished around 11 p.m. the same day. Now I did not time in pain straight through that time frame. I went to bed, I got up, I had a day. It ended up taking me roughly five and a half hours to complete this kit. It is just a 23 by 29 centimeter or nine inches by 11.4 inches. Uh, the, I did not add any additional enhancements to this kit. It did come with all of these iridescent drills for the Christmas lights, which is where I would have blinged it up, but no need as Diamond Art Club took care of it for me. So it only had nine colors, so there was a lot of color blocking. It would have been nice to be able to uh, do large sections of color blocking with a dollar interest. Um, I, Sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. It would have been nice to be able to do the color blocking with the use of my dominant hand. Instead, I ended up doing the checkerboard pattern with my uh, offhand in order to complete all this color blocking. But there you go, people. Look at that shimmer. Look at the shine as the, the crystals in the Christmas lights catch and refract on the diamond painting. Okay, so next, this is an absolutely adorable little snack size kit from Diamond Art Club Amazon. What? You might say, what do you mean Diamond Art Club Amazon? Yes, folks, Diamond Art Club has a storefront on Amazon where they have a bunch of exclusive kits that are 100% exclusive to their Amazon store. This kit, Valentine Spaniel, is one of them. Now, this kit, ended up being my fifth finish. This was my last finish. Well, technically paint gem was, but of actual canvases, this was my last finish for January. I did add some enhancements. I added a, a, a set of glitter drills, an AB, a pixie dust, and a crystal. The crystal is this 321 here which I think is just amazing, especially down in the cupcake wrappers. It really makes it pop and stand out that red. So I love the appearance of how that looked. The pixie dust is here in the top of the cookie jar and in the nose and eyes of our adorable little spaniel. So this once again was my fifth finish. 
It is an Amazon exclusive, a little snack, 13 by 13 inches or 33 by 33 centimeters by Mary Line Cat by Meryl, Mary Line Cazenave and produced by Diamond Art Club and sold on their Amazon storefront. 29 colors in this little, little snack size. So there you go, my fifth finish. My first finish is Dewey. Dewey is also an Amazon exclusive to the Diamond Art Club Amazon store. He is done by Richard Lorenz, who does all of those amazing Be the Bird, uh, bird diamond paintings that a lot of us go crazy for. This is another 13 by 13 inch or 32.8 by 32.8 centimeters. This kit has 41 colors in this little tiny kit. I blinged the crap out of this kit. I added metallic hematite drills into the bee. I have crystals in the flower. I have pixie dust in the greenery. There is pixie dust in all of this, or actually glitter in all of these bottom drills of the background. There is ABs in the cup and in his tail. Um, more glitter drills up in his hat. So I really blinged this up big time. But this was my first finish of 2024 from the Amazon Diamond Art Club Studio website. 41 colors. And isn't it lovely? Okay, this is my second finish of January. This was a spur of the moment kit up. It was calling for snow. I live in South Central PA and we did not get any snow for the 2022-2023 winter. So it had been calling for three to five inches of snow and I was extremely excited. I have a window in my art room and nothing brought me more joy than to be able to sit and work on this crystal canvas while watching it snow out the window. This is a 100% totally crystal canvas from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. And it had 30 colors and is a 40 by 40. This was just such a joy. My only complaint about this kit at all was that they had the letters Y and V right next to each other. Literally one of them was shadowing and or highlighting the other letter. So my only complaint and the only thing that I would ask for them to change is for them to go in and change that part. The quantity or quality of something being, um, of those letters not being beside each other. But here we go, Snowflake from Crystal Canvas Art Design, 40 by 40, 30 colors. I started this on January 5th and I end, finished it on January 12th. Oh, I forgot to say when I started Dewey. So Dewey was started on January 1st and was finished on January 5th. My last finish for the month, but this is my fourth finish for the month, totally, but the last canvas that you guys are gonna see is this kit, Just the Two of Us, from Bella Art Diamonds. Mary's Diamonds was sold and bought by the owners of Bella Art Day Nicole, and they rebranded it last year, Bella Art Diamonds. On January 6th, they kicked off a massive release. 46, I think, kits were released, and this happened to be one of them by David Lazal. This is a 45 by 43 centimeter kit or 17.72 inches by 16.93 inches and has 19 colors. And I added a great deal of enhancements, three crystals, a pixie dust and an AB on top of the four ABs that came with it. This was also my entry piece for Be The Hero DP Along event and also my entry piece for Blinging in the New Year 2024. But here you have it, 
Bella Art Diamonds from David Lozal, just the two of us. All right, folks. Well, that is it. I had five canvases for the month of January. Now, I did have a few whips. So give me one moment to switch around some stuff and I will be right back with my works in progress. All right, everybody, I'm back. And so I am going into February with three whips. The first one is a whip that actually goes back to December. Um, I ended up having to stop this because of my initial carpal tunnel syndrome. I have not surgery. I have not picked it back up as this entire canvas is full ABs. So every color in this kit is an AB. Um, that takes a lot more pressure and strength to do. And I just haven't had that capability with my left hand. Not to mention, I've only just started doing squares with my left. And then I would want to be going to the point of, you know, doing all ABs. That just seems a little like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I could handle that. So I do hope to maybe possibly make some progress on this, but I do not expect to finish this canvas in the month of February. But I guess we shall see. I did get, let me zoom you out here a little. I did get this entire row done here, and then I was working across the top. I like to kind of go in a circle most of the time. That's how I dive into my canvases. So this is the butterfly. This is from the one with the diamond art. It is a legally licensed piece. I'm trying to find where it said who the, here we go. Um, painted butterfly, 60 by 60. Okay, this is a Shutterstock image for this one, but it is a licensed Shutterstock image. So that is my first whip. My second whip is Chromatic Duet from Craftably. I have a lot done on this kit. I have this entire row on this side, the entire row on the other side, the bottom row down here, and I was working on the bottom row or on the top row here. So I do hope to finish this kit this month. It is confetti heavy. Very, very little color blocking in this kit. So this is my second whip, or this is my first 2024 whip going into January. So my second 2024 whip going into February from January is Purnell. I started him for the Richard Lorenz event. I got two rows done at the bottom and the entire right, well, not the whole thing, I'm almost done, but almost all of the right column. I stopped because I was in need of um, some more of the enhancement pack that DP with Sparklers does for this kit. And so, and I couldn't do squares anymore with my left hand. So this one took a hiatus. I don't know whether I will finish this in February, but we'll see, maybe. So those are my three whips that I have outstanding. Now, what am I planning on doing for the month of February? So I've kind of mapped out all of the items that I would like to get done. Whether or not I get them done or not will remain to be seen. The first thing is for the event, for the love of all seasons, and that is this kit, Winter Sparkle. So I did work on this some this morning. I got those two sections done at the top, but this is my kit for, for the love of all seasons, Diamond Art Clubs, Winter Sparkle. It is a 82 by 55 centimeter kit or 32.3 by 21.7 and is from Mad Art Studios and also has 45 colors. It is my first perforated canvas kit, so there will be a post review on this for me to talk about that once I finish it. So stay tuned for that in the future. 
then other things that I have planned. So I have a bunch of small projects or special projects that I'm trying to, I want to try and finish or start or do. This is the wrong one. Hold on. I must have grabbed the wrong month. Yep, here we go. The first one is this calendar hanger for the month of March so that I can put it up March 1st. So this is one of the special projects that I want done. Then I do have another February one. It is the same image, but this one is on a board type plaque. And I am doing these as a gift for my daughter for her apartment. So I need to finish this one so she can have February for herself. And then I am also going to be doing the March one for her. I'm trying to find it. Give me a second here. I apologize. I bumped the camera. Here we go. The March one for her like that. I have this one last set of Valentine magnets that I would like to get done and be able to put up for February. Then I also have all of these shamrock ones. I have ornaments galore and then these are all magnets. Like I said, I do want to complete a Christmas card pack per month. This is a four pack of Christmas cards that I'm going to attempt to get to. And then this is a cute little partial uh, Valentine crystal canvas that I picked up that I would like to try and do for Valentine's Day. Then actual kit kit wise, I would like to try and finish chromatic or uh, duet like I stated, plus get winter sparkle done. Then I'm also going to do Cletus early bird for the Richard Lorenz event and also for Sasha's 3D printing DP along. I would like to do Lucy to be able to give Lucy to my daughter for her birthday as well. This was gifted to me. Um, I'm sorry, no, the these I purchased. I apologize. I got that mixed up. So I'd like to get Lucy done. Lucy is her favorite of all the Peanuts characters. And then I want to, February 10th is the Chinese Lunar New Year, and it becomes the year of the dragon. So starting in February, I want to be able to complete a minimum of one dragon painting per month for the entire year through January of 2025. So I'm gonna start it off with Easter Dragon from Richard, um, by Randall Spangler, because Easter's in March and he's adorable and yeah, all the goodness, all the goodness is there. So everyone, thank you for joining me for my January month in review and a preview of what's coming for the month of February. Um, oh, I totally forgot two more things. Sorry guys, I let it slip. I purchased these little calendar, um, there's one for every month of the year and I'm going to buy a frame and then be able to swap out the image from month to month. So I wanna try and get the February one done as soon as possible and then have the March one to do. Then I'm also participating in the Paint Gem event and we'll be doing the butterfly edition. So not only will I be participating in a paint gem event, but I will be fulfilling my personal goal of doing one paint gem edition per month. So there we have it guys. I'm kind of scared looking at all this stuff that I wanna get done in February, especially since it is leap year, but February only has 29 days. So cross your fingers, wish me luck, Keep following me. Um, there will be a link down below for you to go to my Instagram and you could follow me on Instagram. I, I post daily pictures of what I did that day and my current progress on different items. There is, if you are new here and you like all things diamond painting and you like my content and you wanna see where it goes from here, please hit that subscribe button. I'm so close to 200 subscribers. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. You can then hit that bell and be notified of any future videos. 
There is also a link to buy me a coffee. It is a way for you to help support my channel and to enter yourself into a monthly drawing that I'm going to be doing for all those that do make a donation. So anyone donating from February 1st to February 29th, you will receive one entry per each snowball or $5 donation that you make to my channel. Each $5 snowball that you purchase, virtual snowball that is, will give you one entry into the drawing for a gift card to a small shop. Um, how much the gift card is going to be will depend on how many, how much I receive in donations to my channel. So whatever is donated, I'm going to make um, a, do a gift card of at least half that amount. So for example, if $100 is donated to my channel, then it will be a $50 gift card that I'm giving away, so forth and so on. So I really hope you enjoyed your time here. I hope you come back. I'd love to have you as part of my online family. So take care, everybody. Stay safe and keep diamond painting. And I'll see you later on this month with February. Bye now. Hey, everybody. Um, a little addition of something that I forgot, so I'm just throwing it in here at the end. I did do another small project, which was making Valentine ornaments, which I put on the tree that I am keeping up in my art room every for the rest of the year. So hence the shamrock ornaments that I showed you. I will have different diamond painting ornaments to put on the tree each month for whatever holiday is is happening. So here is my Valentine tree for 2024. All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye for real now. Take care. I'll see you later. Happy Valentine's Day.